When we started our Learn at Home program in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the biggest questions we got was, how can I submit paperwork, work that I've done on my notebook paper or printed out and completed, because not everyone is able to uh, complete every assignment uh, directly on the computer and not every teacher is able to deliver all of the instruction directly through the computer. Um, so there's still some paper out there. Uh, and this is a great question and Microsoft uh, has provided us with some really great tools that integrate with each other to make it really easy to take pictures basically of the printed documents that you have and really quickly produce a PDF that's automatically saved into our school network and can be submitted right into Microsoft Teams. The first step in this process is installing the OneDrive app on whichever device you're going to use. Uh, you need a device that has a camera, so a smartphone is ideal, a tablet would work as well. You just need to go to the App Store in iOS or the Play Store on Android and download the Microsoft OneDrive app. Once you have OneDrive installed on your phone, you'll want to tap on its icon to open it and it'll prompt you to log in with an email address. Student email addresses follow the format student ID number at edu.leonschools.net. That's the format for all Leon County students for their username for all of our uh, online systems. Student ID number at edu.leonschools.net. Type that in and, and click submit. And then it's going to take you to the Leon County sign-in page that will prompt you for your password. In elementary school, your password should be your five-digit lunch pin. Secondary students set their own password. Click sign in and it should log you into your OneDrive, which is all the files that you have saved on our network within your account. And it's likely that you'll get this message introducing you to the scan function, which is relatively new. Um, and so it's built right into OneDrive. It's like a little camera icon. And when you press that icon, it lets you take pictures of your papers and produce electronic documents. So I'm pressing that icon. I got to give my phone some permissions um, and it'll go right into a camera view. And I've got a piece of paper uh, sitting on a table. You want a contrasting background. So I've got a dark table against a light piece of paper. Um, and when I snap that um, button, the app will take a picture and process it as a document. There are some filters that I could use, especially if I had a black and white piece of paper that was coming up with all sorts of different shadows and variations of gray. Um, but in this case, I'll just keep it as color because it's a color page. Um, and then without having to leave and start over, I can just press the plus sign in the bottom left corner to add a page to my document. I'm going to make one PDF with all my pages. So this is page two. I'm just going to snap that button again uh, once I once it finds the edges and I've added another page um, and then I can keep going and add my third page. And then once you've scanned all your pages you can flip back through them make sure they all look good. If you have a page like this that didn't come out the way you wanted it to, you can just hit the delete button at the top and choose discard image and it gets rid of that page. So I'm back down to just my three clean quality pages. I'm all done with my scan. I'm going to flip back through them one more time to make sure. And then I can just hit the done button at the bottom um, to save this file in my OneDrive. Next, you'll get some options for where exactly you want to save it if you want to choose a specific folder, and you have the option to give the file a name. So you don't want it to just say scan and then some big number. You want to give it a descriptive name, type it in the box at the top there, and then just press that check mark at the top uh, to save that file into your OneDrive. And it'll say it's uploading the file, and then in just a second, it'll be there in your file list. So it's saved in your OneDrive, which is on our network, and you can click on it and preview it and make sure it all looks good. Um, but because it's now in our network, it's very easy to submit it through Microsoft Teams, through our email system, or any other way that we want to work with it within our network. So to do that, I'll go back to my home screen on my phone and click on the Teams icon. Uh, you, if you don't have that already installed, there's a separate video on that. Um, but when you open Microsoft Teams, it should recognize you because you already signed into the OneDrive app. 
you just click on your account and sign right into Teams. The phone app for Microsoft Teams takes you straight to your activity feed where you can actually see what assignments you have due if they were recently assigned and you could turn it in right from there. Um, but I'm going to go over to the Teams tab in case the assignment you need isn't right there in the list and you can go up into your team and you should see the assignment you're looking for in the team. So I'm going into the assignment uh, where I'm supposed to submit it to my teacher. It says attach your scanned work. And so I'm just going to click the add work button and it says, oh, you can pull right from your OneDrive. It's already in our network, so we can pull it right up. So it shows you everything in your OneDrive and I'll click on scanned work and just attach it right into my assignment. When it finishes attaching, just press turn in in the top right corner and your assignment will be submitted. You don't have to worry about finding a way to get that file transferred from your phone to over to the computer and uploading it somewhere. It's it goes straight from OneDrive right into your assignment and it's submitted. If you don't want to use the Teams app on the phone, if you just want to download OneDrive uh, to scan the documents but you'd like to submit them in the Teams interface on your computer that you're already familiar with, um, that is also an option. Uh, when you scan into OneDrive, the file is saved onto our network, so you can just open the Teams app on your computer, just like this, and then open your assignment and click the Add Work button. You'll be taken straight to your OneDrive and be able to select the PDF that you made under the file name that you gave it and click Attach. Uh, it'll upload right into that assignment and once it's uploaded if you want to you can actually click on the file and preview it right there on their computer just to make sure everything came over the way you wanted it to but sometimes it's nice to be able to see it on a larger screen than just your phone so after you've previewed your file everything looks good just close that out and you can click the turn in button on your computer instead of doing that on your phone If your teacher prefers for you to submit your scanned assignments via email instead of Microsoft Teams, this process still works really well uh, because when you compose a new email in Outlook and choose to attach a file, it will bring up your OneDrive. So whatever you scanned in through OneDrive, you can access it right there in the Compose an Email window. So that's a quick overview of using the OneDrive app to scan and submit paper documents to your teacher. Thanks for watching.